Hi guys, right now our linen closet looks like a huge mess. And so I am going to rearrange everything and put everything in its place. I've been watching Marie Kondo, Konmori, you know, cleaning up the area, downsizing and all that good stuff. So today I'm going to rearrange this closet and make it look like an actual linen closet or at least one where we have all of our towels and some of our stuff organized, all right? So let's do Okay, so we're starting off with an empty bare linen closet. And don't mind those stains, they're actually wet from me using wipes. And we, or this was painted with matte paint. So unfortunately, it just looks like that. And once it dries, it'll look better. So it's all empty. And that sound in the background is our laundry machines going our washers and dryers because I'm doing laundry yeah I figure it's perfect time okay so now I'm going to start organizing it as best as I can as neat as I can without all the extra junk in here and I've been watching Marie Kondo or Conmarie and so I've got baskets which I bought from Target from the dollar spot so I decided I'm going to go cheap that way but Target's Dollar Spot always has really nice items and the quality is really pretty good so I thought it was worth it you know it's a little higher than Dollar Tree but not as expensive as their other nicer brands that they have out so besides buying my beautiful new comforter set from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia at Target I ended up buying these really cool wire baskets and I originally wanted to get baskets from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, but they were like kind of expensive. And I wanted to buy the ones from like Threshold, but they were expensive too. All the really nice baskets from those name brands were all like $14.99, $19.99. And I was like, that's way too much for one basket. And so I was kind of desperate thinking, oh my gosh, I might be able, be able to only get one. But I was like, I can't do that. I can't just pay that much in baskets. And then... Target's Dollar Spot came to the rescue and I found these really nice white wire baskets with the wooden handles and I thought this is perfect. It was exactly the size I was looking for but guys it was at an affordable price. It wasn't black like the others or metal but I felt like this was even better because it was white. So to me, this felt like it looked good, it looked clean, and it was exactly what I was looking for. And this was from the spa line at Target's Dollar Spot, and this is called a spa caddy. And these were only $5 each, so yeah, of course I picked these up. I mean, I was saving like $10 per basket. And the DPCI is 234 one one zero one zero three so i was so so happy to find this because i was just about ready to give up on baskets and so they only had seven and i bought all seven because trust me when you find something pretty decent like this the right price the right size seriously go get it because baskets are super expensive and this was just right and take a look guys, they fit so perfectly. Oh my gosh, I'm so relieved. Seriously, I am so relieved because I did not want to pay a lot for baskets. And I was like, please, please, please fit at least two. And they do. I am so relieved. Oh my gosh, they're white with the wooden handles and they look amazing in my shelf. Perfect, so I have seven of them, so let me go ahead and start filling these up. I love that they fit almost all the way across, so there's room to go ahead and move them back and forth, slide them out as I need them, and then there's room on the top, so I don't have to pull the baskets out. I can just pull things out from the top, and oh my gosh, I am really happy. Seriously, you guys, you don't know how happy I am, but I am. Okay, so what I'm doing is folding up my towels into thirds so that I can get them to fit nicely in the basket like that. So let's go ahead and let me show you. So they look like this right now. And here is what they look like inside of the basket. I'm so super happy. If you have fluffier towels, you definitely, you know, just have to play with it, you know, roll it a bit to get it to the right size because that's kind of what I had to do. And I love the way it looks. 
unfortunately i think that means i'm going to be the one having to put the towels away but for this i don't mind like i like looking at stuff that looks pleasant to the eye okay so i am doing laundry so i definitely have more towels than just six towels but take a look they look gorgeous i absolutely love it and wow they look amazing and I already feel good about that. I mean, if it, this was it, this is perfect. I love the way it looks. It just looks so neat and clean. And at this point, I don't mind being the person keeping this looking good because it looks good. This next basket, I folded up the hand towels and the washcloths. And I just put them in the same basket just because they're so small. And I don't have too many of them. So right there are the hand towels. And in the back, you can see, are the washcloths. And that's it so far for that. Next up, we always have extra toilet paper. And so I'm going to put it in this basket, but I just don't know if I'm going to leave it on this shelf, you know? I don't know if that's the best look right there. So we'll see, but let me go ahead and fill it up. it I was able to fit 12 rolls of toilet paper in the basket how awesome is that that's just so amazing I'm so happy it worked out of course the bottom was a little bit tight but then as the basket opened up towards the top it was looser so it was all right I feel pretty good about it and it fits so that's the most important thing and this here is my dog Maui hi Maui hi cutie so in this basket, I decided to store some of our feminine care and hygienic products. So we have here some feminine care products, some jumbo cotton balls, some shaving cream, and some shavers. I mean, this can be for anybody, and if you ever have guests, it's easily available, easily accessible. They don't have to ask, it's just right there. So far, so good, guys. For this next basket, I am going to put like dental supplies. That's like toothbrushes, toothpaste, whatever I might have. So let me go ahead and fill it up with what I have. In this basket, we have toothpaste, toothbrushes, mouthwash, floss, just the random things that people usually run out of or guests might need. So. We have that in there and I can tell I probably need to get a couple more tubes of toothpaste and more mouthwash and maybe more floss and I think we're good to go. So in this basket here I added a few more things. I have some toilet bowl cleaners, some shampoos, sunblock, Windex touch-ups to go, some dial soap, hand soaps, body wash and body lotion so yes those are all the randoms and when i have more space or more baskets i will separate them more i also have light bulbs over here i'm not sure why my husband loves collecting light bulbs but he does and we have all of these light bulbs but i don't have a basket i probably need to get one more basket so i could put those in and then I believe that should be good. So here's my closet so far. I'm going to put my sheets and bedding that I switched out up here after they get washed. Here I have toilet paper rolls. I have my cotton balls and feminine hygiene products and shaving products for everyone. Here we have our towels. And yes, we're washing some so as soon as they are done washing and drying. I can fold them, put them in nicely. We have our hand towels and washcloths in that. On the left and on the right, we have our dental care. So that's like toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, floss. And yes, I'm going to buy more to add in there. And then finally, on this row here, we have all of our random stuff in here, which is toilet bowl cleaner, shampoo, sunblock, soap, um, those Windex wipe touch-ups, hand soaps, body soaps, and lotions. And finally, we have all of these light bulbs. So yes, that one's random. Maybe it could go in the garage. Um, we'll figure it out. 
and then I'll bring in the rest of the linens and store them way up here. I like the way things look compared to what they looked like before when we had random stationary items in here. I mean, seriously, and everything was messed up. So I love it. It's clean, and this is my Cone Marie version or Marie Kondo version, and I'm loving it. I am like dumping stuff out, seriously, just making things look nice and clean and neat. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you share it with your friends. I hope you like it. And if you haven't done so already, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day guys.